And here to kick off your spring and summer camping adventures, I'm here with Nick Larios, our awesome Winnebago rep, who is here to bring you the Adventure Wagon, the newest lineup uh, from the Class B side of things from Winnebago on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. And for those of you who have been asking for a conversion van that's completely customizable, this is it, yes, right, Nick? That's exactly it. Well, first off, yeah. thank you, Hunter. Thank yeah. you, McLean's, for having me here. I'm excited to really show you the modularity, modularity, the versatility of this coach. So I'm excited to really po uh, point this out and point to where our customers could really uh, be flexible with this. It, coach. It's the if people ask all the time for uh, man. I wish I could build my own camper. Yes. I wish I could do my own layout. Yeah. I wish campers were like a build a bear, and this is it. Exactly. Right. And you know, you look at it. We we made it the easy button. Right, you know, there's a lot of hurdles and a lot of obstacles that customers have to go through when they do their own conversion vans. Um, so what's really nice is that we just did it for them, and then they we basically made the base, the platform, and now they could be able to customize it the way they want. And this is not a jerry-rigged conversion van by any means. No, not at all. This is nip tucked and then completely customizable. Not only does it come with basically everything that you need that we're going to jump into, but also you can buy additional accessories yes. uh, through Adventure Wagon and through Winnebago to just make it exactly what you need in your specific. Uh, layout so we're gonna jump right into it first off we're in a Mercedes Sprinter chassis yep right? exactly so right now this is the 170 inch wheelbase uh, so it's about 2211 to be exact so almost 23 feet but it has the, all the bells and whistles and all the safety features that you would get from a Mercedes chassis right. so I, what I loved about it cuz I actually traveled in this quite a bit and all over the state of Florida all over the state of Texas and I'm seeing about 17 miles per gallon <laughs> 18 miles per gallon, if that's I, and awesome. that's me driving like a normal person. But right. it, also the beauty of it was just how quiet it was. Right. Having the simple conversation with my significant other, um, and it was an easy, uh, beautiful drive. Well, people know the responsiveness of the Mercedes chassis. I mean, having that diesel Sprinter compared to a gas um, a Class B, not only is it a quieter, more responsive ride, but you have those lane departure warnings, yes. the front collision warnings, all those things. But then also, I feel like one of the things that makes it the quietest ride, Mercedes as a whole is a great chassis, but what Winnebago is doing, and Winnebago made the very first Sprinter chassis ever, mm -hmm. right? They, they, they were the first ones to jump on with Mercedes. And so what Winnebago is able to do behind the walls of the coach in terms of insulation for both sound dampening, and for those of you that are camping all year long, this is going to withstand those temperatures right? exactly. and actually um, provide a comfortable ride. Exactly. Spot on. And, you know, we'll, we can, when we get jumped right into it, when it comes down to the walls and the insulation that what we pr get provided from Adventure Wagon, uh, there's actually about three layers of insulation. So we'll have a hush mat. That's what you see on top there. There's actually a small reflective insulation uh, right behind that. But then on, uh, behind that panel is also going to be a reflective layer. So, again, I use this coach um, when I travel from Florida to here. And maybe the temperatures were about roughly low or mid 40s, high 40s, maybe low 50s overnight. And we were totally comfortable. We didn't have a heater in here at all. Um, it was just really um, insulated. It was warm inside the coach. So it was actually a comfortable sleep at night. That's awesome. Yes. Really, and, and we can talk about some of those bones, but I'd love to, I mean, people are drooling, I think at this point <laughs> yes, in the video. Hey, exactly. let's, let's jump inside let's do it. and see the modularity. Let's and do so it. Let's jump on in. Perfect. So we talked a little bit about obviously the construction of the walls and stuff, but what you also see is these L tracks that are all over the coach. And so again, this really makes it a modular coach because everything in here that you see could easily be removed or rearranged. And so now floor plans become endless. You know, I, I hear a lot from customers that, oh, I want to build my own floor plan. And this is the platform that you can do it with. So, um, Behind these walls, we talked about the insulation, is also called an A-frame. So we also get that from Adventure Wagon. It's a steel frame that goes along the sides of the coach and the roof of the coach to help support that. Especially if you know we have customers who want to hang things up here, they want the peace of mind that it's going to be stable, especially hold its integrity structure. So those are some of the things there. And when you talk about hanging things up, I mean, we have these awesome little caddies mm -hmm. uh, here from Adventure Wagon yes. uh, that you can move all over the coach, yes. use it above this kitchen, which kitchen's removable seat is removable and yes. movable we can get additional seats yes um if you wanted to yeah so i think no it's spot on hunter and so yeah these could all be moved and we you know we see and these are actually really um really hold a lot of stuff in here um we've done tons and tons of testing D -rings, um, we couches. Have, yeah it's so much cool things with these and again customers could purchase more right you know if they want to bring more things or hey maybe listen i need to move my friends I want to remove some of the stuff so then I have more space so I'm going to use it as a moving truck. So now this becomes not just a camper van, but it's going to be used as an everyday traveler. 
or this could be used as a maybe you want to use as a people mover right. take the kids to disney world off for the weekend you know so and then have all of our luggage back here so again a lot of this stuff is really cool when it comes down to this um adventure wagon and now let's get down to the floor because that's a little bit unique too right so as you can see we have l tracks all along the floor this is actually called a smart floor mm -hmm. this is uh, aluminum extrusions that are fit together and what they do is we urethane and we bolt it directly into the chassis. So the benefit of that is that it's all uh, pull tested. Gotcha. So safety is a big thing for us at Winnebago. Always, and, and yeah. as you know, Hunter, we we really hang our hat on that and to ensure that our customers are safe. So again, you know, if we need to add more seats here, we can. We can add benches. We could add different furniture pieces. So there's tons and tons of flexibility with this specific coach. I'm just going to keep moving around here since we're kind of rolling through it. Um, this is a galley that we produce at, um, at Winnebago. So this is, of course, since we produce about a significant amount of parts that we um, when we manufacture our coaches. But again, tons and tons of space, right? And you, as you can see towards the bottom right-hand corner, there's some bolts um, and nuts that could be removed. So then again, we could completely take this out or we could rearrange it the way we want. And, and down here, I mean, the one nice thing is that about this coach as well in terms of the insulation and being four seasons rated, a lot of people have to worry about their water tanks, right? Mm -hmm. If they're going to these really cold temperatures. Yes. And, and so, but on this one, that's our water tank. That right, is our right water there. tank. That's correct. So there's no true or conventional fresh water tank. There's no conventional or, you know, RV black tank or gray tank. So that is our three gallon fresh water tank. And it's really cool because you could run this this uh, hose here directly from the bottom of the cabinet. But I'll take it out just so everybody could see it. But it's an easy solution, right? I could use this. I could, you know, a lot of my friends or, you know, a lot of salespeople that I've talked to, you'd say, hey, I'm going to put my drinks in here. I'm going to put my, my alcoholic drinks in here. But again, it's just some really cool stuff that you could be able to do with this. And then this will be your faucet. Really easy, just kind of plug that in and then double tap, and now we have a faucet here. That's incredible. It's just an easy solution, and you think about, you know, customers who are going to use this as storage or put this in storage. Mm. I don't have to winterize it. Right, that's incredible. You know, I don't have a wire, I don't have plumbing or fresh water or elbow that could possibly break. It makes for you a know? maintenance free coach. Exactly. That's exactly And you're going to need some ma maintenance free if you're uh, actually using that for a kegerator. Exactly. There. There's actually two spots there. Yeah, too, so right? then, yeah, yeah there's so two spots. You could have your water side and your keg side. And I mean, basically. Exactly. <laughs> that is spot on. So it's really, it's a really cool addition. Um, we have, we add this uh, small little galley here or, you know, for the uh, sink itself. Same thing that you would see in other of our products. But again, flexibility, customizing, right? We could actually take this, 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 um, this part out here we can flip it to the other side really yeah so that, that whole portion can actually mm -hmm. move over here on this exactly side. this That's portion awesome. here this little uh, foldable uh, platform here could be removed put it on that side we already have pre-drilled holes over there so very easy to do that underneath here we have our favorite porta potty right so this is actually our our uh, black tank slash gray tanks, right? So again, we have to have some sort of bathroom um, in order to be RVIA certified. So this was a, a, an easy solution. You know, again, if you if you, it's an emergency, that's where you have the opportunity. But you know, also have customers who are Planet Fitness members, right? Sure. There's a Planet Fitness everywhere. Right. You could use the restroom there, take a shower there. So that's an, a really good benefit. Different well. campgrounds, but the other thing is, in terms of not being subjected or waiting in those long lines when you're waiting at the state exactly. national park to actually dump your black tank, exactly. that one you're wheeling into a truck stop if you need be. You exactly. can dump it in so many different places, and you never really have to worry about the black tank cracking or accumulating exactly. smells long term because you can just buy another porta potty. Exactly. Yeah, you know, you're spot on. Um, so you know, in this 170 inch wheelbase, we're going to have two of these mule bags. We're going to kind of come back up here. We have two of these. We have two small mini ones and then towards the back we'll have two large ones so and again we've done this moving um we released this at a different show um earlier this year and it took us you know to completely rearrange this floor plan about 20-ish minutes 30 minutes without being interrupted awesome. by customers so. and, and i love the contour we have kind of the topography mm -hmm. uh, y'all have been really bringing out the camping side of things uh for people Th this is kind of i feel like inspired by the national park edition um, yes we kind of plug that um, just so small little that. touches right you know again it, that's something that's really drawn myself and as well as customers it's just it's small little things like that that really separate us from uh, from other um, competitors so let's talk about the bed in the back now let's move around, around here so it's one heck of a bed so let me nice. tell you it's it's almost about a king size bed um a full queen i would say um and let me tell you i again this 
can be moved, right? So there's several pieces. So I'll just kind of push this up here. So there's several pieces, right? So we have three different platforms that could easily be removed and stored away. So again, maybe I want to bring my motorcycles. Maybe I want to bring my bikes. Maybe I want to bring, you know, I have to help my friend move a refrigerator or a dishwasher, whatever that is. I could easily take these out just by pushing that together. And that's it. So now I have more space. But maybe for any reason, um, it's just myself. I don't necessarily need that long of a bit. And I want more walkway space or I want more stuff or more space so I can store things. I could leave these two things at home and now I have a separate platform. It's That's really awesome. the customizable, the flexibility of this coach that really has drawn me to this. And it's really cool that what we have done with this. So um, that's what we get from Adventure Wagon. So again, we can be, um, McLean's can order this and have our customers ready if they wanted to have a secondary bed. Um, because again, I also like to picture this. Customers might be, have a family of four, right? Right. And, that, and a lot of times they're always looking for some sort of secondary sleeping space especially for their children or somebody else. Which, which is impossible in any class b unless you go with the soulless pop top <laughs> yeah, exactly and, and, and yeah the, you know the wanting sleeping for four so then i started to think well how could we do that well we can easily remove these platforms um take the bolts off it's are they're mounted directly onto the l tracks we can move them up a little bit and the, with the benefit of this moab elevator bed on the gas strut it can go with the shape of the coach Nice. So now, yeah. if you think about it, we could have bunk beds and a 23-foot coach. That's awesome. That is huge. Again, this is something that I don't think anybody is doing right now in the on the real RV space. So um, it's a and, and, and those mattresses are incredibly comfortable. Yeah. I, if you all are unfamiliar with Winnebago Stitchcraft, yes. Um, they they. Y your there beds, uh, your beds that usually come with RVs are, you better like sleeping on a rock, a yeah. uh, very firm bed. But Winnebago making all their own upholstery and actually giving attention to it, being comfortable mm -hmm. is essential because you're not going to mattress firm and getting a mattress that's going to fit in here. So you need to make sure that what it's coming with is comfortable. But also if you start double stacking these and turning one into bunks and you got small little kids and one accidentally makes a mess on, has a, a late night accident, small. you can get these mattresses from y'all at exactly. any time, custom made. Exactly, and that's the benefit of being a true manufacturer, right? Not you know, an assembler. Not like an LD. assembler. We're yeah. a true manufacturer. We manufacture several, several parts of that. What we manu or what we put into our coaches, and including um, our mattresses. And you know, I'll say this, and I've worked for Winnebago for the last three years. And you know, the one thing that we do know how to do is build furniture. Yeah. Um, and because obviously before we were RV manufacturer, we were actually a furniture manufacturer. That's so it's, you know, from our seats and our other products um, to our theater seating, our dinette spaces, our cushions, all the way to this. So this is actually our wind sleep. So this is something that we are providing for our customers. It has five layers of basically comfort. A comfort is a serene foam layer. There is a uh, microorganism layer just so it doesn't stink or it just gets any funkiness that comes there. But it also it helps um, relieve some of the pressure um, and also keeps you cool at night. I was just about to say, they're one of the coolest yeah. mattresses. Yes. You notice that in our part of the country. Um, <laughs> Um, that in terms of not not sweating um, yes. through the night exactly uh, you don't really have to worry about that on yes yeah. so again bed area is really cool I've uh, as I said I traveled um, from Florida in one of these and I stopped right outside of a pilot uh, gas station pulled right over put my uh, privacy shades up slept on there and it was actually one of the better comfortable sleeps that I've had in an RV so. and it's also quiet you yeah. can be at a parking lot and because of that yes. level of insulation that we touched on from the get-go yeah. there aren't people that are talking outside the van that you're hearing their whole conversation spot it's keeping on. you up late yeah. at night or people revving their engines yeah so no you're spot on so then also we provided a few of these d-rings that would um so just you know for me when I was moving here I was able to mount a lot of the stuff um to the floor with some straps Again, just makes it comfortable. But what I've also seen customers so, doing, you can put them almost anywhere, right? Yeah, you Walls, can put them anywhere. Floor. Wall, floor. So again, just ceiling. all kinds of. Uh, there's so many solutions and so many accessories that customers could add to this. Um, and I told this to you guys a little earlier is that I see customers who are actually using this as a are using these little D rings and put a hammock up in here. Oh, and it'd be wonderful. So utilize, utilizing the space as much as possible, not having too much uh, stuff back here.
And when you have these doors open like this, you're actually enjoying the essence of camping, going to these scenic places. Mm -hmm. You get a breeze going through here like today on a gorgeous spring camping season. That's why y'all need to get on the road now before yeah. things get 110 degrees. Yeah. You're still going to stay cool at this level of insulation, but mm -hmm. it's a lot more enjoyable. Yeah, um, I agree. And kick out in the hammock yeah, this time of year. And so a lot, another thing is that there's not like a true conventional RV battery in here. Sure. So actually all of our lights and our max air vent is wired directly into the chassis. Awesome. So for any reason though, you know, maybe we had it on for a day, two days, whatever that looks like. And if the chassis battery starts to read a low voltage, it'll automatically shut everything off here in the back end. Nice. So that's including, so again, so our 12 volt, we have, uh, we have our lights here, our max air vent, and then we have 12 volt receptacles and USB ports along the coach that are directly into the chassis. It's awesome that it's all fed that way though. Mm -hmm. And these lights are actually dimmable and yeah. uh, you can uh, kind of balance the, the orange mm -hmm. with some red uh, yeah, up top. Exactly. And they're, as you said, they're dimmable, you know, depending on what, um, you know, if you need a little bit of uh, to monitor your eyes, but also for night vision, you know, you don't want to wake up your partner or you don't, you know, your, your eyes are all kind of diluted, especially overnight. Uh, so you get to be able to do that. You can turn it to red and then to turn it off, it's just a one quick little switch there. So very easy to use. And I love this Max Air Fan. We're talking about getting a breeze going. Mm -hmm. These Max Air Fans do a really good job of just moving that air yeah. through the space. Yep, either in or out. You know, you can set the temperature to a uh, specific uh, degrees. So again, it's just very convenient uh, to have to really circulate the air because we're also uh, mounting windows in the back as well as the main cabin door so again to really get a good cross breeze throughout this coach and, and these cabin doors i love what y'all did we'll show it on this one here first off the door closing automatically just a really nice touch. but then uh these screens here mm -hmm. they're actually magnetic and have uh, thermal properties as well to mm -hmm. um, help with the insulation make sure that you're not uh, losing your temperature right off the glass yeah. very easy blacks everything out um it's really it's it really makes this coach really dark in here so all right so i think the best thing now is let's walk wander around the back yeah we got some neat little goodies back there that also come with the coach right yep and i love just the stylized plain white van it, yep. it's not it, you can almost be incognito and go to urban places go to um rural places sure. and, and still and sure. You don't have a ton of decals. And what about HOAs, right? Oh, you yeah. Know, customers certainly. always have issues with you know bringing in an RV to their HOA. I currently live in an HOA, and to be honest, I haven't had my hand slapped just yet, and I'm sure. keeping my fingers crossed. But for the most part, it looks like a convert uh, a commercial van, like a work truck. There's not big one big AC unit yeah, or anything the like awning, that. Awning, the big graphics, and so with this specific coach, so. As you, what you see is what you get, but there's two options on here, and I probably should have touched on that earlier. So from um, an exterior color standpoint, um, we have the bright white, we have bright silver, and then we also have the Tenorite gray. So it's basically that darker gray color as well. But to be honest, and then the other, only other option here is either two-wheel or four-wheel drive. Really, there is a four-wheel drive There is a four-wheel drive option That's awesome. on this 170 inch wheelbase. So again, another great option just in case, depending on what that customer's use case, but- um, and Completely customizable even down to the drivetrain. Yes. Exactly. That's awesome. So a few other things that we've added to this coach to make this, you know, put a little sauce on it. Um, we're going to start from left to right. This is going to be our 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator slash freezer. Um, I have it plugged into the EcoFlow, which we'll talk about here in a minute, but this could actually be ran off of the chassis battery. There is a 12 volt um, um, adapter that you can plug directly into here. It's been on for a few days, actually, so it's pretty cold. Oh, it, it really is. <laughs> and it's cool because it has a small little... Um, screen in the front so you can customize it the way you want depending on the temperature what you have in there um if you're into water or if you have a, any other kind of drinks or maybe you have meat you know you just came from costco and you're going to be out all day you, could, you know and you fr uh, froze some meat you put that in there as well so let's move over to the ecoflow so this is a battery bank okay so if you think about like an electric generator or an electric inverter like that same kind of concept this is basically it um so what i lived in florida I was looking for some sort of solution for a generator during hurricane season, right? Sure. You know, um, I lived in an apartment, so I couldn't get a Honda or a gas generator um, on my balcony because I couldn't run it overnight. But this was another great solution for that because, again, I could just plug it into my house, have it charge, and then whenever the lights go out, we can uh, we could do that. So a few things that we could point out here really quick. Number one is that you're going to get a bunch of data here. You're going to see how many days it has left. Days. Without, days days it goes down into days it wow. has left or hours or you know whatever whatever that looks like we have the different percentages 
All right, so if it's 28%, 98%, then we also have what's coming in and what's going out on this coach. So right now we have it plugged in directly into the 12 volt chassis. So right on the receptacle there. All right, but then what you can also see that if there's any output, because again, things come in cycles, right? right? So, so you know. our compressor on, a gen, on, our, on our refrigerator can go up, right can go down. So that's another great yeah. thing there too. So then you can see exactly what is going on and what, how much amperage or wattage is going in and out of the coach. So the number one question is how are we charging this, right? So I said one of the ways you could charge it is by plugging into the chassis. I look at that as when you're traveling down the road, right? Maybe you're going on a long drive, We've used uh, the refrigerator for a while or we use other different appliances, maybe an air conditioner. That way I can have that chassis battery running this, keeping it at a good charge. Number two, you can actually just plug it directly into your house. So if you wanted to pull this thing out or run an extension cord directly to it, there's an, um, an input there that you could be able to charge that. Or EcoFlow or you know any other manufacturer, they actually provide, um, this specific guy provides a plug-in for solar panels. So now if we're outside all day and we don't have access to you know maybe the chassis battery, we don't have access to plugging into our house, we can put, uh, bring out a suitcase uh, solar panel, plug it directly there, and now we have some sort of charging. So um, a few other things that it comes with that a lot of other these little battery banks don't have is going to be a 30 amp plug-in. That's awesome. It's gonna have a few uh, 110 outlets. You have USB-C plugins and then USB-A plugins and also fast charging plugins. So um, it's a 3.6 kilowatt battery inverter, as, as you would say. It's crazy, that, that pumps out true 30 amp. Yes, and then run. true 30 amp. And the, also be, the beauty of this thing too is that it will, it can actually be ran in parallel. Sure. So if I want, you know, more power, I need more energy, more more things going on, I could actually buy myself another EcoFlow and I can plug it directly into there and now we have tons and tons of power. And this is completely movable too, right? So yeah. if I want to load things up yeah. here in the back, then this whole platform can yeah. migrate anywhere we need to in the yes. coach. Yes, sir. But something we didn't touch on in the Mercedes Sprinter, we, <laughs> you're talking about a 30 amp plug in here. This coach has a 50 or 5,000 pound tow capacity. Mm -hmm. We can technically work up a two for one special, right? Get a Winnebago towable, <laughs> like a go. hike uh, for the kids. You tow the hike yep. behind the, the Winnebago adventure wagon. Yep. Uh, you can get it there and then actually keep it charged. Either. Yeah, and you know, so, you think about it, we'll get a few extra seats, right? right. For um, myself, my wife, the kids, we can have those seats there. And now we have a uh, capability of powering up that hike or that towable right. product. Um, with this thing or maybe we have one or two of them so it's really incredible again you know i love the fact that again that we could be able to remove this and move it any way we wanted um so again this was actually up there um when i before i came up here and i wanted to move it around just to show a different uh configuration or a different platform but it took me five ten minutes to do you know and, and that was me you know struggling trying to figure it out but you know once i got the hang of it i was like oh this is this is a piece of cake and moving it up there closer to the kitchen, mm -hmm. having it out here in the back, it's yeah. it, you can do so much with this coach. Mm -hmm. And we got full backup cameras here. I mean, yes. that's, it's yep. super easy to drive. And, and that's really the appeal of the Class B van mm -hmm. is not only the mobility, the drivability, um, but also the ability to be spontaneous. Yes. Right? In this coach, you can make up your mind on a Friday afternoon, hey, we're going to shoot off somewhere. Yeah. And then you can outfit it. Oh, we have friends coming along. Boom, we have yes. whatever we need to, to be uh, exactly. versatile. You know, you know, you're spot on. You know, first off, the, the flexibility, the versatility, right? We talked about the modularity of this coach, but it's also the convenience, right? I'm a 23 foot coach. I could fit almost anywhere. It's shorter than my long bed truck. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. I could fit anywhere. And I've gone to downtown Dallas in one of these. I've gone to downtown Tampa in one of these. And I was easily able to get in and out of places. I didn't have that anxiety of how am I going to get in and out of here. Sure. This was it. And then I love the fact that, as I said before, when I traveled in one of these, I can go from the cockpit to bed and not have to set anything up. Sure. Very easy, convenient, pick up and go. Right. So that was a, that's a huge plus specifically on this adventure wagon. Well, I mean, I feel like we dived into so much, but it's also fairly simple too. Yes. I mean, this is not overcomplicated. You have self-contained portions of this mm -hmm. coach that in terms of learning the systems of black tank, gray tank, it is gonna be very familiar also for people wanting to dip their toe in. Yes. And, and then also it's a much more accessible price point, I feel like too, yes. than some of the higher end lithium coaches that yes. are gonna give you the ability to disconnect and go away. That this gives you that, that freedom. Yeah, and especially when you think of, you know, 
converting, right? You have to find you know, when you want to convert your own. You have to find a van. Mm -hmm. That's one hurdle you have to jump through. When you then you, once you buy the van, you have to look for somebody to build it, or you have to find the parts to do it. Mm -hmm. And so usually, what I see is. <clears throat> takes about six to eight months maybe a year out for some of these conversion uh people sure and which is you know that might be okay um but the thing i also like to you know think of is warranty right sure. There's a lot of conversion places i'm not sure exactly how their warranty works but i know that since we manufacture this we have a one-year twenty-four thousand mile warranty that's anything wow. in this coach Twenty-four thousand. Twenty-four thousand. wow so whatever comes first because we know our customers are out and about and they're using these as everyday travelers especially with how easy yes, easy it is exactly. to get out places exactly exactly so but then also insurance wise once you get that van built and finally get it to how you want to spec there's a lot of a few hurdles you have to jump through in order for you to get this insured right you have to get the electrical inspected you have to get the plumbing inspected you have to get whatever that is and it's not as easy as just picking up the phone calling all state progressive whoever that is sure and since this is rvia certified i can get insurance like that absolutely so well and then like you said also the, it the actual ability to uh have everything covered you don't have to because i mean you're getting usually a steel box and then kind of jerry-rigging how you want it uh, screwing things into the floor this is official and then also usually when you do a conversion van it is not modular how you're installing things into that coach are fairly permanent mm -hmm. um this you are flexible uh, yes. for whatever life throws at you so you, this can actually be your long-term forever class exactly. b van and that's the idea behind winnebago too one of the only companies that you still see 1980s and 90s models on the road and the reason that is is that y'all make every part and still have the molds, the ability to, somebody calls you up, hey, I need a part on my 1980 Brave. Y'all yeah. can make it yes. right there on the spot. That's Keep exactly people on the road. It. That's exactly it. And that even goes, you know, from the tanks to the furniture to the, even the materials, right? And that's where our customer service comes into play where sure. maybe that company that we bought that material from doesn't make that anymore. But we'll take that extra step and say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, we'll find something that matches as close as possible. So again, it's just having the ability to, you know, look for ways to resolve the customer's issues. Right. So that we're always willing to go that extra step. But this one, you almost don't even have to worry about bringing it in <laughs> no, for service no, any no. on anything, no, because anything that could possibly go wrong on this coach, completely removable, and you can put in just a whole new unit by yourself. Yes. And so this is for those folks who are not only wanting to be out on the road more often, but also never want to see a service center. Because exactly. um, especially with the Mercedes reliability, yes. drivability, and Win Winnebago's reliability, yes, you're sir. gonna get all of that. Yes, but it, it's sharp, it is awesome in terms of what we can do with this. Uh, I wanna go get our hammock inside and just post up here for the rest <laughs> of the day. But we really hope that you're able to actually come out and see these in person. We have our RV show uh, running this weekend uh, from the 12th through the 15th, where we have incredible deals on the best selections of the best brands in our industry over our 60 year history. We found Winnebago, Grand Design, KZ, and Renegade are some of the best manufacturers in our business. And so we wanna bring those brands to you um, in the most convenient way possible, where you're able to tune in virtually, see these videos, see these walkthroughs. Hopefully, hopefully you're able to see something that catches your eye. But we also encourage you to come in in person, work with one of our experienced sales staff and meet one of our manufacturer reps who know the products like the back of their hand and they're gonna be able to custom tailor what's the right fit for you or you can just go with something that you can custom tailor yourself, um, like this adventure wagon. Really hope that you've enjoyed this video on the 2023. Really hope that you come out and see us this weekend, because uh, really our inventory is at an all-time high, and temperatures are great to get out camping in. So uh, jump on this opportunity now before inventory starts disappearing and temperatures start rising. Uh, but Nick, thank you so very much, yes, and not, not only for being a part of the manufacturing process of this coach, but taking us through and teaching us yes. all about it. Yes, I think it's you. gonna be one of the hottest selling campers on the, in the business, and we have several for now um, but they are going to go quick once this video drops and word gets out yep. so reach out to us right now don't miss out on these opportunities and let us know what what you thought of this product interact with us let us know what else you'd like to see um, but until you actually come out and see us y'all stay happy camping thank you again for watching thanks guys see you down the road